Alright, let's go start a galactic war. Okay, do we know how to play? Let's go to war. Greetings, Commander. Much has been lost since the reawakening. Others have come online. Like you, Commander. They seek answers among the stars. Find the others. Rip apart their planets. Stop the spread of other factions. And annihilate them. What? So, no friendships? Galactic map. Online. Hmm. Okay. They're progenitors. What's it? What little is clear is that the galaxy was once inhabited by a sprawling empire, seemingly destroyed by conflict. The commanders refer to these beings as their progenitors. Many commanders believe answers to their origins lie within the ruins of this one great civilization. Once great civilization. Civilization. Sorry. Uh, some commanders fight because it's all they know, while others seek answers in their origins. Conflicts in motivation and creeds drive the commanders into war, blah blah blah. Let's go here. We, we shall explore. Ah, okay. A basic air tech, improved commander build arm, or improved fabricator build arms. Hmm. Get three, two free techs. Uh, build speed increases by 50% and reduces energy usage by 50%. That could be good. Fabricator build arms. Hmm. The question is, do I want air? Do I want planes or air? Well, air units. Or do I want to build faster? I don't know. Which says Faber build arms. You, you gotta think about Faber, Faber, don't you? Okay. Acolyte Tenkai. In possession of progenitor mini scroll that he's convinced bears the name of coordinates of the legendary progenitor homeworld, Tenkai has spent a lifetime searching for the star system called Mako Soft Taco. <laughs> Macho Soft Taco, $1.45. <laughs> Okay, air tech, combat tech. Commander combat tech increases the speed of your commanders by 200%, doubles commander health and increases damage by 25%. Economy fabrication tech reduces metal build costs of all metal and energy production structures by 50%. Mm. Commander combat. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. What you guys say? It's your fault. Your fault. <laughs> if I screw this up. Okay, let's go back here then. Okay. Uh, so we've got a few options here. Hostile faction they can discover. Wow, okay. Fight! Selected. Let's see. Let's give him the bad news about what a macho soft taco is. <laughs> 1v1 the suckers, yeah. <laughs> I'm the commander, cause how? <laughs> oh wait, you've got an army. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Select starting location. Hmm, one or two. Well, two's near a lot of metal, but it's also near some lava. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll go for one. Initiating landing sequence. Okay. And 
I've just built the thing. Yeah, all right, all right, Quitch. I realised. Factory first. I know. My fault. Naval factory, there's no point having one of those, so let's just do another few of those. My metal storage, okay. It's going way down. A good concentration of metal, and that's probably where the base is going to be, isn't it? Factory, can't have that. Do do do. One thing's for sure, they made a good use of the mid, mid mouse button. <laughs> Not really a mouse button I use a lot in any any kind of game. Right, let's assign those at least some U to some units. Once you sort out your eco management, you can figure out most stuff from there. It's basically the game. Yeah. Yeah, I got the together figure. There's no sort of overall plot as such. You just basically blow the hell out of everyone else. Kind of like Total Annihilation. You, once you get the hang of where you're going and what you're doing, you're pretty much solid.
Now, where, oh, where could this enemy commander be? <clears throat> well, I mean, I used to love, to, well, I, I still do love Total Annihilation. It is, without doubt, one of the sort of pinnacles of real-time strategy gaming. Sort of redefine the whole genre because back then it was all Command and Conquer. Um, well, Command and Conquer and Red Alert and all that sort of stuff. Whereas Total Annihilation came along and it wasn't just, you know, limited to sort of you having a couple of units. It was, you know, you had loads of units, had thousands. Ah. Where was that? Uh -huh. Yeah, Command and Conquer clones, endless clones, and clones and clones and clones. And Total Annihilation came along, and all of a sudden it wasn't. They weren't as clones anymore, they were. You know. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, basically, Command and Conquer was no, Command and Conquer was without doubt one of the sort of. It was a good RTS. Wow, they got some serious firepower on this base. Okay, I'm gonna have to re re <laughs> regroup. <laughs> Where's all my fabric units gone? Aha! <laughs> Command and Conquer 3 for its campaign. Yes, absolutely. Command and Conquer 3 was probably the best of the bunch for what it did because it sort of opened up the whole um, what do you call it? It opened up the whole sort of universe. That sort of explained a hell of a lot of stuff as to where the, on earth all this, what the Tiberium was, what where it all was, you know. <clears throat> and then they had the aliens, and it was kind of the the best one out there. Command and Conquer Four was just a joke. I'm sorry, but you know, it, it was just why go that far to make such a why take a formula that worked really, really well, base building and everything, and then suddenly change it into a, a mobile uh, base sort of thing? That, that never worked very well, in my opinion. I had, I, it was actually the first Command & Conquer game I gave up playing because it just was rubbish. OK, 
Ten, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Command and Conquer 4 was never supposed to be a Command and Conquer game. It was a different game. But it's a shame that they just they took it and you they did what they did to it. It was a real shame. Now, where's the commander gone? Yes, it's, it's unfortunately EA destroyed. Oh, there they are. There they are. There we go. Got it. Victory! <clears throat> when EA took over Westwood, it was never going to end well. Damn you, EA! Adds a new slot for additional for another technology. Complete air tech. Orbital fabrication tech. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'll go for air tech because then at least I can have. Um, or do I want another additional bank? Hmm. Because I think some planes would be useful to just so, scout around. Okay. Okay, I'll not content to merely live by the doctrines espoused by the Foundation brings a missionary zeal to her goal of turning her adversaries into progenitor her worshippers. Though she has had some success in converting captured enemy commanders to her faith, she is generally shunned by her Foundation peers. Okay. Enemy I'm glad Space Spy agrees. <laughs> <clears throat> Command and Conquer Shooter in the making at one point, but they cancelled it after Renegade. I think I know which one you mean. I think I do. Choose landing site. Ooh, we've got a metal planet. Okay, one has some metal, two has some metal, three has some metal. And it's on a raised platform too. Hmm. So it's two. Oh, they all are. Okay. I didn't see that. I think we'll go for three because the metal's over here and there's two ways in. Landing sequence activated. Right. Factory first. <laughs> Oops. See, I'm learning. Oh crap. Not over or not. Oh, come back here. Okay. 
air factory. And an orbital base. Come on, man. Uh, I think until we know we have the, they have air units. <clears throat> <laughs> Hummingbird, fast fighter, when he attacks air units, okay. Scout. Okay, so we'll assign that to zero, and then we can make it sort of zoom around a bit if we need to. Alright, where's the best place to get more metal? This thing's going to be north. Well, not north, but up. up. A solar powered drone produces energy mobile but slow, weak attacks land there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I just I've just assigned ah. This is my airport to deploy units out there. That's a bit dumb. Aha! And it's been destroyed in a split second. <laughs> right. Space Pro, fast, cheap, expendable, provides ground vision, does not attack. Uh, orbital fighter, attacks orbital targets, builds orbital satellites and ships. Let's try that one. I'm going to build some bumblebees. Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. You might go back to the <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my monitor going off. Or oh, my baby going off. <laughs> He's not having a good day. Ah, uh, great. 
Well, let's see if I can finish this and then I might have to go sort him out. Crap. Okay, okay. Need to regroup. I'm gonna have to go check out the key. Sorry, guys, hang on. Okay, crisis averted. Let's resume. Come back here. I don't want you going in there. Stupid thing. Okay, we need to increase productivity. Let's uh, get another vehicle factory going. Actually, let's get another two vehicle factory. No, can't do that. Two vehicle factories, there we go. When one won't do, make two. And I'll set that on continuous as well. Yes, I apologise, guys, for that. It's um, uh, it's one of the sad facts about things is that I do stream. I do have kids, and I have a 15-month-old who does wake up on occasion. And it can happen during the stream, and I have to obviously go and see to him because uh, my wife's disabled, can't get to him easily. So it is what it is. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep, little shit. <laughs> He's been having a hard time. He's got a cold and all that stuff. So it's you know. Okay. I can't move. Why can't I move the mouse? What else we do there? My middle mouse button is not working anymore. Why can I not move my map? I'm having to use the keyboard here. That's weird. Did I do something? Ah, oh, okay. There we go. That's no, I still can't do it. It's still not doing it. Ah. <laughs> well, at least Space Pie understands. <laughs> 41 units. Okay, let's try that. Charge! Charge my minions, charge! Press the tilde key. No, that's not working. Sat there being destroyed. I 
the Legion mod for the Titan add-in. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'll, 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 I'll take it as a note. I might have to abandon this. Nice. Two boots. Commander has been destroyed. Nice! Uh, after all that, okay. Yeah. Okay.